This is Billy. <laughs> Veteran horse carriage driver Christina Hansen fears the days are numbered for her industry in New York City. That's because in August, the mayor announced big changes coming to Central Park South, which as of now is the pickup and drop off place for the city's dozens of horse drawn carriages. Central Park South is a bustling business and tourist hub. Carriage drivers say the strip between 5th and 6th Avenue act as a billboard for their business, and if moved, it will kill their chance for walk up rides. The mayor says the horses need to be placed inside the park, which became car free this summer and away from traffic. He cites safety and easing congestion. Come on, anyone with eyes to see knows there's a problem on Central Park South. Uh, horses in traffic is a bad idea. I said that in 2013. I'd like to repeat it in 2018. It's a bad idea. Um, Central Park South right now, you see it all the time. The horses in close proximity to traffic. Uh, it is a location that we believe could be used much more effectively in terms of mass transit in terms of our Vision Zero initiatives and helping people. It's a very, very busy area. So let's take a look at the proposed changes. As mentioned, the current pickup and drop off are at Central Park South between 5th and 6th Avenues with the bulk of the carriages at 5th Avenue. The city wants to get rid of that and have five separate pickup and drop offs inside the park. Let's start with the first one. Grand Army Plaza, which is pretty close to where the pickup already is. The move will put the pickup in the center lane at the entrance of the park near the plaza. Next, you have the East 72nd Street entrance on the north curb, which puts it about a half a mile away from the old location. Then you have the West 72nd Street entrance at Central Park West. That one is a little farther out and about a mile away from the old pickup. Then there's the 67th Roundabout next to Tavern on the Green. That's just under a mile away from 5th Avenue and Central Park South. And then there's the 7th Avenue entrance, which is actually not too far away from the old location. This measure is also part of the mayor's Vision Zero plan, a cornerstone of his administration, which takes aggressive action in tackling transportation and pedestrian safety issues. We believe we have a much better way to use Central Park South while simultaneously providing the carriages with very good staging areas where their customers can get to them. They'll be running the same routes they've ever run. Uh, this is just a smarter way to go about it. This isn't the first time the mayor has tried to pull in the reins on the horse carriage industry. In fact, banning horse carriages altogether was a major platform of his 2013 campaign. As mayor, he tried twice, first to ban horse carriages in 2014, and then in 2016, he aimed to reduce the number of carriages. Both initiatives failed in city council. Hey, up, up, up. Christina Hansen has been driving horse carriages for years. I talked with her as she brought her horse Billy from the stable at 38th Street near 11th Avenue to the carriage stand at Central Park South. I asked her what she thought about the city's plans to move the horses inside Central Park. My initial response was like, well, obviously they just they just want to ban us a different way because our billboard is 59th Street. That's how people know where we are. Um, you know, they want to put us out of sight, out of mind, out of business. All of the places they've proposed putting us, it's like they don't even want people petting our horses or enjoying our horses or feeding our horses carrots because they're not places where there's a sidewalk for people to actually safely come up and interact with the horses and ask the drivers about the horses and ask about rides. All right, come on, Billy, we're going this way. I know, I know, we're going on a long run. Christina says the proposed places aren't up to par with their current location, saying the slight inclines and declines at certain proposed stops make it harder on the horses. She also says there's no infrastructure in the park. We're going to be parked here. Now, one of the things that should be obvious is if there's a bunch of horses in front of me and I'm parked here and now I got to leave because I got to go home, how am I going to get out? There's curbs here. I got to have everybody in front of me either leave or I got to try to go up over this curb and potentially cause a problem or tear up my wheels or whatever. It's because you don't you can, you can go over curbs, but you got to get it at the right angle. So far, a more detailed plan has not been released, but the mayor hinted that there would be some kind of infrastructure put in place for the horses like stands and signage. And there are some who are applauding the mayor's move. Central Park is one of the top five tourist destinations in the entire world. I think that the idea that they're going to lose business by merely being 100 feet within the park is ridiculous. Edita Bernkrat is the executive director of New Yorkers for Clean, Livable and Safe Streets, known as NICLAS, an animal rights advocacy group. Industries have to evolve and adapt to changes. You know, the carriage industry 
wants to operate like it's still 1918, but it's 2018. There's more cars than ever on the road. Midtown is so congested. She says the move is good for horses and will get them out of the busy traffic where they can sometimes be startled or in many cases slow down traffic as New Yorkers try to get cross town. And almost on cue, traffic chimed in on our conversation. This is clearly a very intensely congested area with swerving vehicles and traffic nonstop. So the plan would remove the horses from having to do just this, operating and making this turn on Central Park South and also would no longer have them lining up here around Grand Army Plaza because this is a very busy, noisy, chaotic area all the time. And what it would do is just merely move them right into the entrance of the park um, just a hundred feet back. This plan will still allow for horse-drawn carriages to ride on the perimeter streets of the park. The mayor is just hoping that they will be on the streets less. Now, this approach is different than the other two times the mayor approached the horse-drawn carriage industry. This time, he is trying to use the regulatory authority of the Department of Transportation to move them from the outside of the park to the inside. There will be a hearing on October 3rd.